Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real con? Of course, dear, of Now, I need your assistance. It's Cicero. But it's worse than that. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? So you understand my fear. If Cicero's planning something, and conspiring with one of our own... Dear brother, it'll be no use clinging to the shadows. Like, inside the Night Mother's coffin. No objections then? Good. Go now, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Why are you still standing there? Hurry before the meeting begins. Don't take offense to the nicknames, Morsel. I'm a werewolf. Hard not to think of you as a snack. <laughs> Alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you, hmm? Have you... have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do, hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble sir. But he will never hear my voice, for he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you, for you are the one. You who shares my iron tomb, who warms my ancient bones, I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried. So very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Sp 
speak, worm! She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit! You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! She... But those are the words. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. I sit this, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Then what in Sithis' name is going on? What? So Sis and the Night Mother who... To you? By Sithis. And? What did she say? Amand Motier? But Valenrude. That I have heard of. And I know where it... Hmm. No. The Night Mother may... I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. No, Do some more. You are the listener! You are the listener! I have served Mother well. I have. Will there ever come a... I'll teach you how to use it effectively, and keep you quick on your feet. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. Happy hunting. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. That's too much. Until next time, brother. Don't let my appearance throw you off. I'm old than you, a lot. Getting bitten by a bear. What do you need, Dragonborn? You're not supposed to be in here. Did you leave? 
need something? Get out! Help it! Help it! If that's the way you want it! Victory! I'll let you live. This time. This should be Fall back! It's a fine day with you around. What do Doka you think said you're, doing? you're the new Codlac. 
I don't know what that means, but you seem honorable, so that's good. Welcome to the Moor side. If you need anything, I'll be around. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Slow. Few enough reasons. Now, well, let's just see. Lurbach fancies himself a bard. If I had any customers, I'd be worried about him annoying them. But, well, <laughs> look around. Try to spend the night, I'll rent you a room.
I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Something to do with it. Yes, these are Akaviri symbols. Whatever you did, you won't. Let's see what those old blades left. Here 